Hi there. Welcome to the Schwoben's Nest. My name is Sandra, and today is another episode of Timber Tuesday. My first project is just using this wood slice and I've got these tiny little wood slices from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to glue a couple of them together because my big wood slice isn't exactly level. So I need to adjust it just a little wee bit and I'm going to do that by adding multiple slices on each of the feet. Then I'll simply hot glue each of the little feet in sort of the four corners of my large wood slice and that will become little pedestal feet for this riser. You can see to the right of the screen that there is a glass cloche lid and that is something that I found at a thrift store. It did not have a bottom, but whenever I find these, I snatch them up because it's really easy to just create a different bottom for it and make your own unique piece like I'm doing with this wood slice. Now I'm adding some reindeer moss and then I'm going to put a larger bird nest that I purchased from a craft store locally and then I'm going to just just add some more embellishments, a few different eggs, some greenery, a little bit of florals, and I think this is going to turn out absolutely adorable. I'm not gluing any of these pieces together because this way I can take this whole thing apart and do something different for maybe the summer or the fall. I like to find things at the thrift store that I can use in my decor year round, but change them out simply by adding different embellishments to them. I love how this one turned out. I used my laser machine to cut out five pieces of this larger heart. I didn't have any chunky wood hearts to use, but I'm sure you can find these types at the Dollar Tree or any other craft store maybe that are already chunky. So what I'm doing is just gluing all five pieces together to make one chunky heart. I'm using my favorite glue, which is the Weld Bond glue. I do have it listed in my Amazon store. So if you'd like to give it a try, grab it because it is amazing. It works on wood, glass, ceramic, tile, plastic, you name it, it's going to glue it for you. And it sets up in about 10 minutes and then you can continue working on your project, which is something that I really love about it. I also engraved this phrase on the top heart and I'll have this available on my website as a free printable for you. To camouflage that this isn't one chunky heart, I'm just going to use these pieces of scrapbooking paper and my Mod Podge and I'm just going to glue them on all the way around. I did have to do it in sections because this particular paper was just a tiny sheet, but I really loved the lace look of it. Now I know this is a heart and it could be done for Valentine's Day, but this is also something that you can just have out all year round too. It doesn't have to be just for Valentine's Day. I have seen heart decor used year round in a lot of places. Once it was dry, I used some coarse grit sandpaper to very quickly just sand off all of the excess paper. And that also gave the edges a little bit more of a rustic look. Now I'm going to take some of this cotton ribbon that I get from the Dollar Tree and it literally has pictures of cotton on it. I'm sure you guys have seen it. I'm going to start in the center of the heart just using some hot glue and I'll just put the ribbon right down the center of the thickness of the heart and go down to the bottom and then I'll repeat this for the other side. I'm going to be adding one solo wood flower right to the center of the heart there, right in the crease. And then I'll add some of these little greenery pieces around the edge of it. And that's all I'm going to do for this wood piece. I think it turned out really pretty. You'll have to let me know what you think. Thank you. 
I grabbed this wood piece from my stash. It measures in length about 11 inches and it's about four inches wide. I'm going to give it one really rough coat of white chalk paint. I don't really want full coverage on this. I printed off this really pretty saying on a piece of white cardstock and now I'm just going to cut it down to size. I'm also going to be cutting the buffalo check paper that you see and that one's one that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. My Dollar Trees very rarely get really good cardstock in so as soon as I see something that I know I will love and use I grab a whole bunch of them. For this paper, I'm going to leave it about a quarter of an inch bigger than the white sheet of cardstock, simply because I want it have it sticking out a little bit on the edges. Now I'm going to rough up the edges just using a really sharp pair of scissors and running the blade across the edges of the paper. And that's just going to rough it up and give it a little bit more texture. Then I grabbed one of the little makeup sponges from the Dollar Tree and my ink pad and I'm just going to go around the edges and wherever it's roughed up it's just going to catch a little bit of the black and this is just going to make it a little bit distressed. You don't have to do this step but you guys know me I like my things distressed. I did the same scissor technique on the checkered paper too. To glue these two pieces of paper together, I'm just using hot glue just in the corners a little bit. And the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want to use Mod Podge because that'll make it too wet and then it might wrinkle a little bit. And I also still haven't picked up any glue sticks. So I normally would use glue sticks when I'm gluing two pieces of paper together. So that would be my preferred method. But hey, hot glue works in a pinch too. Now I'm just going to glue the paper onto the board and I did leave a little bit more of the buffalo check pattern showing up at the top simply because I know I'm going to be doing some kind of floral thing with it there and I thought it would just look really nice. I went into my stash and I found these little wood cutouts and these always come in packs at the dollar stores and I grabbed two of these little flowers. I'm going to glue them together so it looks like there's lots of petals and then I'm going to paint everything black and I know flowers aren't black and hearts aren't black. There are some black birds but I just thought that the black would really pop against my design. I played around with the placement of the little wood cutouts and I decided on not using the heart at all. I just thought it was too busy. I'm going to glue the little wooden flowers up at the top and then attach the leaf right next to it. And then I'm going to be doing something with the bird later on. I'm going to add some little bits of greenery and a little bit of lavender to the top where the buffalo check is sticking out and I'm just going to kind of make it like a swag and then at the end I decided that that's where I was going to glue my little bird right on top and it turned out super cute. For a final accent, I'm taking a little bit of water in a little Dixie cup and I'm going to add a little bit of black paint to it. That's just going to water it down and give me the ability to just add some little sprinkles of paint all over the front of the sign. I did get a couple of bigger blobs, but I'm okay with that. It doesn't look perfect and that's okay. It's all about being rustic, farmhouse and imperfect.
I have got so many frames in my stash and I'm going to be doing a lot with them just to get them used up and out of the house. So I'm going to take this one apart. It has a really nice thick chunky frame edge on it and it is a nice color of wood, but of course I'm going to paint it. But before I do that, I'm going to take these really thin bamboo sticks. I'm going to cut them down to size using my miter shears and I'm going to create three sets of windows. So I'm going to do two of these pieces across and then I'm going to do one long one across so I get six little panes of window. I'm using my ruler just to make sure that they're pretty even. They don't get to be 100%, but again, I'm okay with that. And I'll just use some hot glue to glue these little sticks right onto the frame. Before I was able to glue down this long piece, I did have to add some little bits underneath because this is raised up a little bit because I'm going on top of the two sticks that are already there and it had a bit of a bow in it. So I wanted to make it as straight as possible. And you can see those two little bits of wood here. So here I am painting the frame. I did do it a sage green color. I really love this shade and it's something that I just created myself. I started off with a little bit of an off-white color. I added some hunter green and then I added some dark gray and that just brought out this beautiful sage green color that I think is perfect for spring. Now I've grabbed this large piece of rice paper and I get this off of Amazon. It is linked in my Amazon store if you're interested. And I just measured it to be the size of the glass. What I'm going to do is put some decoration or stamps as you can see here onto this piece of rice paper and then I'm going to simply hot glue it to the back of the glass and this way I'll be able to pull this design off and put something else on there again something that I can reuse throughout the seasons by simply changing the background. These stamps are the IOD Spriggs Stamp Collection, and these are my absolute favorite. I haven't used them in a really long time, but they are beautiful. I really love how delicate and fine they are. Right now, when you put it down, it looks like they're going to be quite thick, but it's really deceiving. Once I pick up that stamp, you're going to see how delicate these really are. I'm going to continue adding different stamps and just make a really beautiful scene on this rice paper. And then I'm also going to stamp in a swallow and it's at the very bottom of the screen. You can see it there. I'm going to stamp that up too. Now the ink that I use is just from a dollar store, but there are tons of different options on Amazon as well, and I have a whole collection of different options from you to choose from, again, in my Amazon store. I really try to find items that are available to everyone, so you can get them on Amazon, qualify for the Prime free shipping if you've signed up for that, and then it's really easy and inexpensive to get some really fun pieces that you can use on all types of decor. The glass in this frame was a little frosted and I kind of liked that too. I just thought it added more of a vintage vibe to it. So I'm going to just add some little dots of glue all the way around the edges of the glass so the rice paper can just stick on there very easily. As you can see here, I added more little pieces of wood just to create some extra stability and some space where I could add some hot glue and make sure that the glass stays put. I loved how the stamps turned out, but I think this still was a little too plain. So I grabbed a little tiny bit of Spanish moss and I glued it into the corner. And now I'm just going to add a few tiny little sprigs of lavender just to bring this to life and make it look a little bit more spring-like, a little bit more farmhouse. 
And I also made the decision not to distress this piece. I really liked the clean look of the green on the frame. I might distress it down the road maybe a little bit, but I thought it just looked so pretty the way it was. Let me know if you would have distressed this frame and what technique you would have used, whether you would have sanded off some of the original paint to show the brown wood, or if you would have taken another color and put it on top. I hope you enjoyed my Timber Tuesday projects today. I love working with wood and I know a lot of you out there love it as well. So I'm going to try and bring you more Timber Tuesdays in the future. Thanks so much for spending some time with me today. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to do all the things and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.